Yeah, man. American Holocaust. Let's talk about it. Ain't the water for surfing the wave right here at 432. The drop radio, where there is no other, man. There might be some uh, phantoms and duplications, man. But you know, the spiral is we are drop nation. Man. I'm going to, you know, pop it off, man, with a. You know, brand new book that I want to read cover to cover on this uh, on this time slot right here for American Holocaust. You know, uh, this is a great book and shout out to the author, man. We done shouted him out before. We done told people to buy this book. America is the true old world. Volume two, the promised land. The Amenhotep Chavez El Bay. You know, and obviously, uh, <laughs> you know, he's uh, been surfing the wave and. You know, this great uh, wave that we, we've been popping oh. off, man. You know, right off the balcony, man. And, you know, uh, you know, great uh, investigators and, and reconners like UB News and Cody Mayo and a lot of knockers, you know what I'm saying, been putting in that work. And he been in them, in them YouTube streets, man, <laughs> getting the drop. And, you know, it's cool to see, you know, where everybody take the information. Obviously, we got to write our own books. Cause he's gonna take it back to the bays and the elves, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna have his <laughs> oh please believe, man, the Pharaoh is gonna have his uh <laughs> get his praise, man. But for us, you know, we wanna make sure we write our stories and keep it in house, man. So I'm I'm grateful to be working on my first project, man. It's just long overdue, it's right on time at the same time. And uh just look out for us, man. Uh, but let's pop off, man, and you know, see how the recon came together for this bro right here. Um, and it's a pleasure, you know, to be a part of every, you know, we're all helping each other out, man, investigate. We all just want to know, you know what I'm saying? So it's a pleasure. It's, wow. it's an honor, man, to be with real, uh, investigators, man, that are just, you know, taking what, uh, the pastor said or the, the teacher said, or, you know, even mama said, you know, we gotta go, you know, really search out these things, you know, search out the creator. That's what it means to search out the creator. And then back on our Presta flow, Presta John investigation, we searching out, you know, for David as well. You know what I'm saying? So once we are in code, once we, you know, got the code continuing, and that's what the Code Keeper series is really, you know, highlighting, you know, each individual foundational, you know, puzzle wow. man, that makes up the code. Um, you know, then we searched out Hawaii by keeping the code and really searching out the code, you know, within us. Thou shalt not murder. We got to search out the murder within us. See how we've slaughtered ourselves, how the dragon's been eating his own tail. Man, but we'll get to it, man. But, you know, after that, you search for Kondawi, man. You're on your press to flow. And there's definitely some press to drop in here, man. You know, <laughs> the bro's been in the back of the class, man. I can tell you that, man. So, hey, hi, right, man. Let's go. Um, we're going right in, man. We're going right in chapter one. We pop it long. Ancient Mesopotamia. Ancient Mesopotamia was in the Americas. Let's go. Ancient Mesopotamia was in the Americas because ancient Sumer was in the Americas. Greetings, friends. This chapter, Ancient Mesopotamia was in the Americas, is a necessary proof in order to demonstrate that America is the true old world. Because according to academia, ancient Mesopotamia is the birthplace of civilization or the cradle of civilization because of the fertile crescent, wow. which gave rise to the oldest civilization, ancient Sumer. Ancient Mesopotamia was in the Americas since the first civilization, ancient Sumer, was in the Americas. Now, you know, remember uh, that whole Sylvanus to Texas drop and Daniel Lowe's uh, the forbidden, forbidden Histories of America. And 
one of the titles was the Sumer title. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, this you know, Sumer or Somerset, which they got a, a, a replica of that in, in Britain, Somerset, Somerset. But there was this Sumer flow that we, you know, were surfing on. It was like, <laughs> it, it says, you know, he's, you know, the kind of Sumer. And he's also right here in Kalalus, you know. So the fact that he's bringing that Sumer America connection, you know, that's a good, it's a good connection, man. Let's go. Ancient Sumer was in the Americas. This is true, especially since they have found more Sumerian artifacts in the Americas than in the Middle East. For example, they forgot to transport all the Sumerian artifacts in the Americas, hold on. So they forgot to transport all the Sumerian artifacts that they found in the Americas to the Middle East, according to Reuters. Whoa. Over 3,800 Sumerian artifacts are being given to Iraq to help support the false notion of the East being older than the West, which is the Far East, right? We've been telling y'all, yeah, you the Oriental, right? You in the Far East. They didn't flip the map. They didn't flip the map, Jack. They didn't, you know, gave us the okie doke, man. They didn't flip the map. We in the East. And if you're in the East, you're in the Far East. You're in the furthest East. The furthest India. India Superior. The furthest Ethiopia. Ancient world. I mean, we got to pause for a minute. Why would they lie to us and tell us that everything ancient is over there? Why would they do that? How important must this place be that they would lie to us and tell us ancient Egypt is over there when it ain't? It's over here. Ancient Sumer is over there when it ain't? It's over here. Where's Where's Babylon? Where's Israel? Where's Jerusalem? Jerusalem? Where's Jerusalem? Where's Judah? Where's the real uh, Mississippi? I mean, the real Nile River. <laughs> where's the real Red Sea? Whoa, where's the real China? The real India? All these are tales of the same place and given different versions of the history and all these different cultures. And it's all based on you, my naughty. It's all based on this right here that they call America. India superior. How superior must you be to be from here? <laughs> and is that why Hawa is mad mad? When he's like, man, you got all this, you know, superior elements, but you don't have the code. You don't got nothing. You don't got me. We got to learn the hard way. Stiff neck Israel got to learn the hard way. Let's go, man. Let's get it, man. Yeah, I need to get back on the Sylvanus Bravo, the Barbar, but the Berber, the Barbar, <laughs> the Swan Knights. I think he's going to touch on the Swan Knights eventually. And this is the American Holocaust. You know, normally we talk about, you know, how much of us, you know, um, were martyred, crucified. You know, now we, we get into some of the <laughs> some of the juice of it all. We we get into why, you know, we can talk about three thousand niggas was killed. But now let's talk about why. <laughs> Cause you are who you are. Cause you're at where you're at, and where are you? We gotta talk about that. Cause that's all part of the American Holocaust. Yeah, man.